السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شبہات کا ازالہ پیج کو سبسکرائب کریں اور بیل آئیکن دبائیں سب سے پہلے ویڈیو دیکھنے کے لیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دا کنفلکٹ ان نظام الدین مرکز اے ڈیٹیل انسائڈ پارٹ ٹو ایکسٹریکٹ فرام اے ٹاک بائی مفتی نول الرحمن ایٹ شکاگو مرکز ویکلی مشورہ The biggest specialty of the effort of Dawat is obedience to Amir. Therefore, Alami Shura won't say cease obeying the Amir because they know nobody will accept such a foolish proposition. They'll either say there's no Amir, which they've tried, or they'll say the Amir's bad. The voice of opposition against Imam Bukhari Rahmatullahi was such that he was kicked out of his own town. The opposition was so intense that the place to where he was headed, the people there were unwilling to accept him. Hence, he passed away on route. that is neither in his hometown nor to the place of hijrat a fatwa of kufr was passed against imam ghazali rahmatullahi alay and his book ihyaul ulum was burned in the bazar previously deobandis and barelvis were one maulana ismail shahid was a big muhaddis mufti sufi wali and philosopher when he gave bayan in jame masjid delhi there would be no space to stand let alone sit He has written the two best books on tasawwuf that I have read. Maulana Fazle Haq Khairabadi who was a great alim himself claimed that Maulana Ismail Shaheed had stated that to get the khayal of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam in salah was worse than getting khayal of a donkey. Na'uzu billah. This was interpreted as Maulana Ismail having less respect for Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam than that he had for a donkey. Na'uzu billah. People believed it. and from here the split between deobandis and barelvis occurred the only way to break unity is the instance was to damage the foundation of reliance placed on these two great personalities the basis of this split was passed on the great personalities such as maulana ashraf ali thanvi rahmatullah alay mufti rashid ahmed gangohi rahmatullah alay etc and the damage benefited the enemies the same istimaiyat obedience to amir and markaz at a world level which came above via the effort of tabligh has been broken today maulana umar palanpuri rahmatullah alay used to say when people of sincerity mix with those who intentions are ulterior then the sincere ones become so confused that they don't know what to do thereby creating misunderstanding in the greatest of people nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was once talking to a lady at his door a sahabi passed by nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam called him and told him that he was talking to his wife Sahabi replied that there was no need for clarification as he would not have thought ill of the nabi nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied to the effect that shaitan can reach all the places in the body where the blood flows what he meant was that shaitan could make even a sahabi suspicious regarding nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam if we use the affirmation incident and apply it to the current situation in tabligh we'll see that the following question which many brothers asked is invalid the question being How can great elders who have given so much sacrifice misunderstand and be prejudiced towards Maulana Saad and thereby leave the markaz since we don't understand these realities we have doubts and questions in our minds therefore if you seek to end the markaziyat of markaz and try to do the effort of deen you'll think you are doing the effort but in fact you will not be doing so instead you will be helping the enemy who seek to break unity If you cut a branch of a tree the leaves will remain green for a while after that they'll die similarly is the out- similarly is the outcome of those that break away from the markers people argue that the markers doesn't have a specific location and that the markers moved to baghdad from medina what they don't tell you is two things a when the markers moved to baghdad so did the amir and the reason they moved to baghdad was because of the bloodshed the killing of the third khalifa and the profanity is taking place there So who was killed in Nizamuddin this argument of there is making a fool out of people the work will continue by maintaining ijtimaiyat upholding the markaz and imarat the very elders who have left the markaz i've heard them say ikhtilaf will occur with itaat and if it's without itaat then it's mukhalifat and this is impermissible in all circumstances while staying in the amir's obedience one can express dissatisfaction I have spoken with many senior muftis in India and they are in no doubt that Maulana Saad's imarat was established long ago therefore our job is to obey we'll be tested and false notions will be put in front of us the notion of shura commenced by a letter that allegedly went from Nizamuddin stating a shura should be formed the letter hadn't been sent by Nizamuddin it was from an individual purporting to act in the name of Nizamuddin at the time he was questioned i was present along with 3000 old workers 
his response was that he'd make a mistake. This is how misconceptions arise in the Ummah. If a person thinks I can join here and there too, this is evidence of his lack of conviction. Secondly, such a person has inadvertently promoted the strategy of the other side who are supported by people who wish to destroy the unity of this effort. So a person will think that they are undertaking the effort of Deen but in effect, without realizing, they will be undertaking the effort to destroy Deen. Because Shaitan is very astute, Shaitan makes us continue doing the effort but he changes the strategy for us and therefore he becomes successful. As you are old workers, I'll tell you that non-Muslim organizations and Indian ministers are involved in this strategy. An inordinate amount of money is being spent and meetings have taken place. I am not just saying this, there is proof. If there is no markers, where will we resolve differences and where will takhazas be gathered? Disclaimer from translation team. First, any reasonable question pertaining to the English translation itself, example structure, wording etc will be answered. Second, unreasonable question will not be answered. Example where it is obvious that the reader has not read the translation fully and is asking a question that has already been covered in the, in the document itself or previously. If you do not receive a response, understand that you may have that you may be in this category. Third, no response will be given to sarcastic comments or questions aimed to being deliberately confrontational. Again, if you do not receive a response, Understand that you may have made such a comment or posed such a question. Fourth, finally, acquit yourself like an intelligent Muslim. Instead of engaging in pedantry, nitpicking or looking for minute discrepancies that have no overall bearing, try to understand the translation holistically. May Allah Ta'ala grant us understanding. Ameen.